This is Boomer Life on CIL 650. Welcome back to the program. Dr. Paul Zickler is with us from YesWellness.com on this episode of Boomer Life. We're talking about your health and your well-being. And uh, Dr. Paul was just about to recommend uh, in the greater picture, in the context of the greater picture of you being more willing to take uh, to, than just to take supplements. If you plan to take supplements in your daily life, uh, the doctor also suggests that you incorporate uh, exercise and uh, better eating eating habits to create a bigger, healthier picture for you. But on that matter, on the matter of, of the daily supplements, uh, Dr. Paul, uh, what what do you uh, advise men and women, particularly of a certain boomer type age, to pay attention to on a daily basis? Um, that's a good question, uh, Sterling. And, and, uh, and I'm sure that most of the listeners uh, in, in that are on the uh, listening tonight would, would agree with the fact that um, there's so much information out there, and the, and you go to, you go to any of the drugstore, and they the 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 containers and the and the shelves that have vitamins yes are mind-boggling. There's a wall all the way from A to Z. There's a whole right? wall. Every vitamin is individually you can get it individually, and there's a whole wall of them in each vitamin, at least uh, five or six manufacturers. Right, right. So how so do you what make, do you make of exactly. all that? Exactly. So there's just a couple of general statements. All right. First of all. You want to make sure that the vit the supplements that you are looking at are made by a manufacturer that's very credible and is a, a, a well-known manufacturer. All right. And uh, and not just your you know your Kmart of the of the shelf and the, the cheapest. Right. Um, and usually, if you go to um, specific health food stores or go to a site like Yes Wellness. Mm -hmm. Those products are pre-screened to make sure that they come from the most um, uh, upstanding manufacturers that follow all the professional guidelines in terms of manufacturing, producing, and distributing of, of that product and having third-party testing to making sure that what's on the label of that product is indeed in that capsule that or pill that you're going to take. Okay. So that's really number one. You number bet. two is is trying to get whole food food vitamins. So getting vitamins that are that are that are usually sort of together in in, in nature. So if you if you get the synthetic produced vitamin A and the synthetic produced vitamin D and the synthetic produced vitamin you know, the zinc and put them all together and think you're taking something effectively, it's like taking your pharmaceutical pills. You're taking one of these, one of these, one of these, and you're hoping it's going to work. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I gave that analogy to you the last week. You know, when you look at a car, all the pieces are meant to work a certain way. Right. If you went to the junkyard and you took some tires and you took some axles and you took a chassis and you took a seat and the steering wheel, all the parts that make up this car and throw it into a bin, it's not going to work like the car. Absolutely right. Similarly, if you take all those separate synthetic vitamins and throw them into your into your digestive system, that's how they're going to work, just like that car parts in the bin. So how do you know uh, which to choose then? Well, that's where you want to go to go to your trusted health food store, your trusted online uh, <coughs> um, <coughs> um, distributor Okay. to know that those drugs are the ones that are really are of the highest quality and uh, reassure that they are exactly Naturally what they're exactly well. okay. and and put in a system that work together. So with that with that sort of information, um, probably the things that the short list is a very good high quality uh, multivitamin with minerals. Okay. Number two is a um, a source of omega omega threes. Um, such as um, sort of like krill oil, or uh, or cod liver oil. Okay, sure. Uh, and and really, there are lots of really good products. Um, if you get more specific in your interests, uh, say for example, in terms of looking at all the free fatty acids, the krill oil um, is very sustainable. It comes from the krill in in the Arctic mm -hmm. and Antarctic. And it's very sustainable. It's reproduced in an environment that is clear of pollutants and toxins. Mm -hmm. And it's very concentrated. And the way it's formatted, 
the number of milligrams of the free fatty acids is less, but they are absorbed and more useful than others. But uh, but free, ad free fatty acids are necessary. And okay. free fatty acids, especially in seniors, really uh, help us in terms of it being anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, but also help us cognitively. It helps our brains. Keeps the mind sharp. It keeps them. It ke helps the metabolism of the of the neurons, and it's very uh, important to continue taking those free on free fatty acids. Free fatty acids. Okay. What else? Uh, in that in that mineral or in that vitamin package, it should be really important to make sure as seniors that have a full vitamin B complex. Okay. And vitamin B complex is very important for again functions of neurons and um, and and anti-inflammatory and antioxidants so it's important to be part of that and finally vitamin D is really important so those are really the essential things the vitamin D is really fascinating because up until seven years ago no one really paid any attention to vitamin D that yeah, was part of your if you t were taking multivitamins it was part of there's always the amount but a lot of research has taken place with vitamin D, and it's really, really beneficial for us all, and especially with us being in a temperate climate where we don't get enough sun exposure, especially into winter months. Right. We don't get enough vitamin D. Okay. And you need the D3 form of it to be effective. And so, and the dosage, if you look at the Canada Food Guide or the American Food Guide in terms of uh, the amount of vitamin D that's suggested, they are a pittance of what you really need. So I think our guide says 700 uh, international units. Well, in fact, you need to take probably, uh, for you and I, probably four to 6,000 international units. And you can get, ask your doctor to do um, a, a, a D hydroxy, D25 hydroxy vitamin D level and get the actual blood level so you can determine if I'm taking this many milligrams, in fact, is that getting my level into the normal range, the upper limits of normal range. Right, right. And so you can follow that very closely. You just mentioned speaking to your family doctor, and, and I have to stop you because you've done, you've worked both sides of that street. You've been the, the emergency room guy, yep. you've been the family doctor, and now you're the, the yes wellness man. Um, should one always, where possible, consult the family doctor before beginning a program of supplements and vitamins and so on, uh, particularly if you're taking other meds for chronic uh, conditions? It's, it's really important when, if you start dabbling in a bunch of other different things. So be, besides the things I've just mentioned, other things that you can do in your diet that are really helpful are herbs and spices. So in terms of spices like cinnamon, uh, and turmeric. Okay. Um, those are things that you can add into your diet as you're eating gelatin, mm -hmm. and add into your diet, which are very easy to do with a little bit of guidance. And that guidance can come from your own reading. So if 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 our audience does have access to their iPad and Google, there's so much information, and um, there are some credible sources and. And and so if you take the list of things I just gave you, you'll be perfectly safe that regardless right. of what you're taking. Right. But if you're looking at more specific items, for sure, when you go to see your doctor, if you have already embarked on your own plan, mm -hmm. bring the list of things that you're taking and let your doctor know and put in the files and let him be aware. And also, ask, he was going to ask you, well, why are you taking these? Sure. And you should have some reasons of why you're taking these. And because I'm trying to improve my, my better, my, my well-being, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and, and that's the kind of commitment that you, as a, as, a, as a family doc, were looking for and didn't hear very often. Exactly. And I think, I think when, when, that, when that patient buys into looking at his health, he's going to, he's going to be a lot more uh, a, a critical in terms of what the doctor is deciding. But once he's decided, he's going to be on board. Yes, exactly. Yeah. What family doctor would, would, would berate you for yeah. trying to improve your health, trying to start an exercise program, improve your diet, eat better, and, oh, add a few supplements to the mix just to create yeah. a greater uh, energy level and, and a sense of well, well-being. And, and, yeah, improve your cognition, improve your, 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 and decrease the likelihood that you're going to have a stroke 
and problems with diabetes and problems with high blood pressure. It's all those things are play a role. As we said before, 80% is nutrition is what we put in our faces mm -hmm. to eat. 20% is exercise. And in that 80% of what we eat, maybe about 10 or 15% of that is really dependent on all the supplements and things that you take. So in, if you look at the whole 80%, 10% is not, but it's a significant part. Sure. It's a significant part, especially if we're looking at reducing our incidence of dementia. Right. Interesting stuff. And we're going to talk about reading labels. And then there's that list that Dr. Uh, our, our guest, Dr. Paul Zickler, has brought with him. This uh, 10 things to throw away for better health. Looking forward to that. But we're also going to talk about reading labels. I have, I got to confess, I, I go to the store as a shopper and I find myself doing something I've never done before in my life. I love going to the stores, love to spend money, love to shop. But I'm the guy in the aisle in your way reading the labels. We'll talk about why I've gone to this, this tangent and why that's kind of important when we continue here on Boomer Life. Canada's only weekly radio show dedicated to the baby boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life on CIL 650.